Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought it would be fun to sit down and kind of go through my fountain pens. Um, I recently kind of got back into the love of them and yeah, I kind of want to go through a few purchases I've made recently and all of that. So if you're interested in fountain pens and which ones I have, then keep on watching. Okay, so uh, where to start? So I guess we'll start here with the actual fountain pens. So I purchased this case off of Amazon. Uh, this is kind of temporary because I just needed something quick that I could store them in. It was like $15. I do have my eyes on the gallon leather. Uh, and I already told Michael I want that for my birthday. So... Uh, my birthday is next month, so I should be updating this soon, but for now it actually really works, and I just emotified it with some stickers from the Coffee Monsters Co., and I think it turned out really cute. It is, like, cloth lined. The last time I showed anything about fountain pens, I had these two already, uh, and then I bought these three in a recent purchase from Jot Pens. But this is my Twisby Eco. It is a medium nib. And um, I'll tell you what it's currently inked with. And we'll kind of do like a little tester. But yeah, I was in like a love-hate relationship with this pen at first because it was just such a thick line. Um, but it is super, super smooth, and I think it's because it's the medium nib. Um, but yeah, so that was my first, well, I guess I bought these two together, so they were both my first purchase. This is the Twisby Diamond 580 ALR, and, okay, I don't know how to, I don't know if it's Prussian blue or Prussian blue, um, it is in a fine nib, and I this is one, I think this is my favorite pen right now. So it does have Noodler's Turquoise and these two are just like a match made in heaven. So definitely my favorite to write with right now. And then, so those are my first two purchases. That's all I had. I bought these two and then I bought two Waterman's inks. I bought Intense Black and then Mysterious Blue. Did not like either of those inks, so um, I definitely learned from some advice from you guys to buy sample inks from Goulet Pens, and I went a little crazy, but um, I definitely see where you guys are coming from. It's definitely a better idea to buy uh, samples first because, I don't know, I've, I've definitely learned that it's a certain, like certain inks work better with certain pens. And that is so, so true. So we'll kind of get into that um, in a minute. But then I, I was highly interested in the Cuecos. So maybe we'll start there. Uh, so interested that I bought two. <laughs> I bought the black and I just love the gold hardware. I don't know, this pen is just so, so beautiful. I love how mini it is like it's a I think they call it a pocket pen so I don't know it's just oh so so cute I like when I post it to post the clip aligned with that I don't know if that really matters but that's how I like to post it um now the only thing is this black pen I don't know if I got like a default or like a defective pen but it I'm having struggles with this pen. I'm trying to like let it warm up, but this one, like right out of the box, this is the navy and it still has that gold hardware. This one works phenomenal. Like it worked phenomenal out of the packaging. I don't know if it's like the inks I'm using with this one, but I'm not giving up on her. Um, I want her to kind of be like my everyday pen. I got them both in fine. Because I'm learning that after buying this one, I know like 
different nib sizes work differently in different pens but I think the safe route for me is just to get the fine and I do like how these two pens write um line width wise uh I don't know right now what I have either okay this one I have inked up with Robert Oster's Great Southern Ocean not too sure on this one because I've re I've like inked it cleaned it re-inked it cleaned it and re-inked it trying to find like a really good ink that will work well with this one um I think right now I have it inked with Robert Oster's Thunderstorm which I also have this one inked with that one so those samples can like last you for sure Robert Oster's Thunderstorm is I think one of my favorite inks right now and this one I bought because I was super interested in it. A lot of people said that it was a really great, dependable um, pen. And this is the Lamy Safari in Fine Nib as well. And I really, really like this pen. This is probably my second favorite right now, whereas this is my favorite. So just, um, yeah, I love how it's like the black on black. It's the charcoal black. It looked almost army green to me at first, um, but it's definitely like a deep gray. And then I love how the nib is black. So really, really pretty. And I believe this is a German pen, whereas the others are um, Japanese. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. <laughs> Don't come for me in the comments. So yeah, those are my pens right now. And this is what I choose to store them in currently. And then I guess we'll go to the inks. So these are my ink samples that I purchased and I have them housed in my Simply Gilded pouch. I think when I place another order for more ink samples, I'm going to buy the little, they have like a little ink sample storage container because I'm definitely not gonna be able to fit more in here. Um, but let's open her up and I will tell you the inks that I purchased. Another thing I've found out is I don't think I like shimmer inks. Um, I have this paintbrush. <laughs> Gosh, brain fart. I have this paintbrush in here. Um, I used it to swatch out one of the shimmer inks and it was actually really pretty. I have, I just have some q-tips in here, but, um, from Goulet Pens, I also ordered this eyedropper and inkwell duo, and I use this for clear, or for water when I'm cleaning out my pens. So I'll dunk it in there and draw it up, and then I put the ink, which don't come for me, but I haven't dumped it out yet, um, but I put the water into this Chrissy Ann Designs cup from her 12 year cad week so that's how I clean my pens and I also have uh where is it a jug of distilled water that sits underneath my desk because I heard that you're supposed to use distilled water or it's better to use distilled water um when it comes to you know your nibs so that they don't erode with like the minerals so that's just what I did it was a dollar at my local grocery store so nothing too serious and uh, I know that jug will last me um I don't think I'm gonna take them out I do have the cartridges I opened one of the Cuecos because that was another ink that I tried in this or in the blue or the black one um and I threw it away after because I didn't want it to get everywhere. But I purchased the Organics Studio Aldous Huxley, which has a really pretty red sheen. Or actually, you know what? I'm not going to go through these because I have them swatched out. So that way you guys can see them as well. So let me show you how I swatch. Um, this is a very cute mini little pocket or no passport moterm cover in taupe and it is housing my <laughs> create with pen passport inked it notebook and it's my ink notebook so i think that's so funny 
um, but I just love the little mini size and I felt like it was so perfect. Um, I won like a bundle for this notebook and her B6 when she first released them and I kind of just had it in my stash, didn't know what to do with it because it's so, so many. And yeah, this is from Planner Monkey Co. Just to show that it is my ink journal. Uh, let me, before I even get into this, this little guy is another fountain pen technically that I own. I purchased it off of Amazon and I just keep it with this journal because it is what I use to swatch my new inks. So this is a dip pen and I loved that it was capped and postable. So this is super perfect. I believe the tip is plastic instead of glass, but um, I took a chance on it because I can just easily return it if not. But it, it took a minute for me to get used to, but I was able to do all of these swatches with it. So these are all the inks I currently have. Um, and this just kind of sticks with this little notebook here. Of course, capped. So these are the two full bottle inks that I have. And I have Waterman's Intense Black Ink and Mysterious Blue. Uh, I don't love these two, so I learned my lesson. Then I purchased in the samples. So I have the Deatramentus Archive ink. I had very high hopes for this ink and I want to try it in some other pens, but in the little Coeco, it wasn't doing very well as far as color. Like I, I want like a true black ink and I'm still on the hunt. So if you guys uh, have any suggestions, definitely let me know. I do have this Monte Verde Midnight Black, but if you can tell, that little grain effect, I don't love. And the Archive ink was doing that in this pen. So I don't know if it's just my luck, but yeah, still on the hunt. Uh, I also got the Document ink, which is what I currently have inked in the Twisby. Um, and you'll see how that writes in there. This Diatramentus Velvet Black Copper. It has the prettiest sheen, um, shimmer. It's like a copper shimmer. And that is what I wanted to ink this pen with. And I did, and it wrote horribly. So it just would not work well with this pen. I heard shimmer inks work really good with Twisbees, but for some reason it just was not working with me. Um, I do have a little bit of footage I'll put at the end of the video where I was inking up each of these pens. Uh, just so you guys can see that, but yeah, not a fan. Um, again, I have Monte Verde Midnight Black, and then I have the Organics Studio Aldous Huxley, which is that one I was just talking about. It has a really pretty, I don't know if I'll be able to get it on camera, but it has a really pretty red sheen to it. Um, Aurora Blue Black, which is okay. Um, it's really pretty, but I have a few other favorites over that one. Robert Oster Great Southern Ocean is what I have inked in here currently, and they are a very pretty duo. Very pretty color. Robert Oster, both colors that I got, I actually really, really love, and I love how they work with my pens. So the Robert Oster Thunderstorm, I need a full bottle of this for sure. It is currently inked in here, and guys, it's just... So, so perfect. I don't know what happened here with my Noodlers 54th Massachusetts. I definitely need to retry. I used it with this. I don't know if there was too much ink on the dip part. Um, but I definitely want to retry because yikes. <laughs> it was like spire. What is that? Like spidering out. I don't know. Noodlers Turquoise is currently inked here. And those two... Again, perfect duo. Uh, Diamine Enchanted Ocean is so beautiful. Sadly, it's a shimmer. I think the rest are pretty much shimmer. Not this one. I don't know. But I think I'm going to steer away from shimmer inks unless I'm just using my dip pen. So really pretty color though. And then I think it has like a red sheen as well as that shimmer. Diamine Night Sky, another shimmer ink, but it's more subtle. You can't really tell. Again, sorry if you can't see. This Diamine Snowstorm, 
I actually got uh, for a third Coleco that I was going to buy and didn't end up buying. It was the Pearl. Um, I think I still want to grab the Pearl. Uh, don't know how well it'll work. Maybe I'll try. Uh, and then the Diamine Aurora Borealis. This is a really pretty color. I bought it. Um, I bought a lot of turquoises trying to find like the perfect one for this, but love that noodler's turquoise and then my last one is just the diamine 1864 blue black which is a favorite that is like that one and these two are so perfect but currently do not have it inked anywhere i, I believe i tried it with this and again i don't know what's going on with that pen uh, so here is my currently inked as of 3-2. So currently in this little black one, I have the Monte Verde black ink. And if you can just see, it's just very gray. It's not like a true black like I want. So this was the archive ink. And again, I just, I don't know. It's not writing the best. I don't know if I need to tune it or what. If you guys have any suggestions, definitely let me know. Um, but yeah, so in the Cueco Sport Navy, I do have Robert Oster's Great Southern Ocean, and it just looks very, very pretty. The Lamy Safari, I do have the Thunderstorm from Robert Oster. And then this is the Eco with the Document Black Ink, and this one writes even more black than this was writing, so I think it's just a medium nib. And my Twisby Diamond. This just writes so, so good with the Noodler's Turquoise. Very, very good. So yeah, that's everything I have currently inked. Um, I think the... I do have one other fountain pen coming, so I'll definitely unbox that one for you guys. I just got really, like, excited. I didn't wait to film it. Um, but when the other one comes in, I'm definitely going to film it for you guys. I've been practicing my writing in this notebook, so maybe I'll write a bit for you guys. Let me just turn away because I do have, <laughs> this is one of my new journaling cards I got. Um, an MD paper notebook. This paper is so luxurious on with like fountain pens. Love it. So let me write with my favorite one first um, just to share. I don't know. It's a fountain pen video. We need to do something, right? So this is the... Maybe do a little bit of <laughs> uh, ASMR for you guys. I don't know why I started in writing and ended up doing cursive. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I flipped the O and U in turquoise. <laughs> uh, I'm not the best speller in the world. Uh, but yeah, just so, so nice. It writes so beautifully. This one is super, super smooth. I don't know if you're even going to be able to hear it. It's so smooth, but let's see. I think you could hear that a little bit. Uh, and then next, we will go into my Quecos again. I don't know what is going on with this one, so maybe you guys will see. And maybe having it sit there a little bit helped. Um, let's see.
I just realized that that is not that ink. <laughs> that one is the Diatramentis. Um, this one's the Monte Verde. So I don't know, like, I don't know. I just, I don't know if it's the ink. It's writing smooth. So uh, I'm just going to get some other inks. Maybe I will find one that works better. I cannot believe I mixed this up. This is definitely not this. This is the Diatramentis Document Black. And that is horrible writing, so please <laughs> just ignore that. Um, but this one, this is a good duo, so here we go. Like, that writes very good. Like, I like a more inky look. But I don't want to, like, go away from the medium. Or the fine net. Because I really, really like that. Uh, and then here is the Lamy Safari. Sorry if you could hear my kids a little bit in the background. I do have little ones running around, but yeah, love the Lamy and it gives really great like sound and ASMR, but this one and this one, and then this would probably be my third favorite right now. Uh, but yeah, so I love practicing at my handwriting. Love these notebooks. I'm looking at getting the Codex version to just fill out this notebook cover. This is from Coach, um, kind of, it's not, I wouldn't say a splurge item. It was about $40 um, and I bought it around Christmas time for myself. So yeah, that is what I'm currently using. And those are my currently inked pens. I really hope to continue to do these videos. They're very, very fun. Um, and just kind of share a little more with you guys as I grow my collection of fountain pens. And look at that duo. So, so pretty. So I could, I just like imagined taking these together. Very, very cute. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, definitely let me know if uh, there's anything you want to know. I'll link... Um, I don't know what I'll link below. I might like link a few things. Maybe not. Just let me know if you want anything linked and I will give you guys a link. Uh, but yeah, that is all today. Uh, I'll probably submit or I'll like include that video of me inking up the pens at some point. Maybe at the front, maybe at the end. Um, but you will see it. Maybe not. Maybe I'll just leave it out because I guess I kind of like ran through enough with you guys I don't know but thank you guys so much for watching um I hope you enjoyed it and yeah I will see you guys in my next one bye for now guys